Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Bridget Bennett. For five decades, the Siouxland community has worked to honor a group of sailors who died serving during the Vietnam War. Today, nearly 50 years after their death, the Niobrara community held a special service in their honor. KCAU 9's Jessica Watson tells us why the community is working hard to make sure those sailors are never forgotten. It's tonight's top story. On June 3rd, 1969, 74 American sailors lost their lives. Those men were aboard the USS Frank Evans when it collided with an Australian ship in the South China Sea. Even though all those men were serving in the Vietnam War when they died, Niobrara is the only place in the country where you'll find all the, their names displayed in remembrance. Harris Melvin Brown. Something I feel like I should do. You know, somebody needs to remember them. Put up their names high on the wall. Honoring the 74 sailors has become a tradition people in Niobrara have continued every June marking the day that shook the entire Niobrara community 50 years ago. Three of our boys that was born and raised around here that's on there with them that went down with the ship. We never want to forget what they've done for our country. Three brothers from Niobrara. We played the basketball a lot. So close, they received special permission to serve side by side on the USS Frank Evans. I just found out that uh, the oldest of the Sage boys uh, jumped off the ship and was to be with his brothers, and that was a great act of courage, in my opinion. The Department of Justice says all 74 of the sailors are not considered casualties of the Vietnam War, since the accident happened outside of the combat zone. But to the people of Niobrara, the Sage brothers deserve recognition. They were just where they were supposed to be. That's all there is to it. A few days earlier, they were on the gun line, so what's the difference? As long as I'm alive, I'll keep doing it, honoring them every year, reading their names at Memorial Day, and I will never give up. They were really nice to know. It's unfortunate they all had to perish the way they did at one time. It's totally sad. The Niobrara VFW is still reaching out to the politicians in Washington, hoping to get the names of the Sage brothers and all 74 sailors aboard the ship added to the Vietnam Memorial. Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.